Welcome to the Cinema 4D tutorial. I'm Jesse, and this tutorial will show you how to create the sketch and tune shading style. Basically, this is a two dimensional shading that makes 3D objects look kind of flat. So, I thought the best object that I could use for this tutorial is the sword from Adventure Time that Finn uses, the yellow sword. So, let's just get started and let's add all the colors that I know of to this object to make it look a little more interesting. So, create new material. And the first thing I'm going to do is turn off shaders, uh, sorry, turn off speculars. These just kind of add a depth of light to it. Turning them off makes them look flatter, so it works for our kind of 2D effect. And I remember the colors for the most part, so this, the blade itself is kind of a yellowish, a very bright yellowish. The guard, the handle, and the bottom are all kind of a dark gray, almost black color. The cloth is kind of a mix between blue and gray, so right around there I think would work. And my favorite element, the ruby, is just nice and bright red. Oops. To the wrong side. There we go. And now if I render this with, I have a light source, an area light source over here, it still looks rather three-dimensional and I just noticed that I forgot to actually add the ruby color to the ruby. So there we go. This looks still rather three-dimensional. Not only do I want to make it look both flatter, I also want to add this kind of black outline to the object and actually a bluish purplish outline to the guard itself. That's just copying straight out of the show, the Adventure Time TV show. And the outline kind of helps make it both look two-dimensional because it kind of adds a pen drawing element to it, as if it were drawn or outlined by a pen. So to add sketch and tune shading or cell shading, there are actually two ways that we can do that. And the first one is actually not using color for coloring an object, but rather luminance. So select your luminance. And I've used luminance before for creating softbox lighting, but these are not going to be lighting objects anymore. These are going to be self-colored. And so go to texture, sketch and cell and click on this and what this basically does is it adds a cell shading element to it so very strict three colors for the shading so right here you can see i have this very funky white medium blue and the darker blue up here but i don't want blue i want yellow so i'm going to change these colors let's say on 56 degrees and 56 let's make this one brighter. And if you want to add more, simply click on this light gray strip. If you want to remove them, click and drag off of the light gray strip. That looks pretty good, except all we see is the bright color. And this is because it's actually using the camera as its light source. So scroll down a little bit and you'll see it says camera checked. And that basically means it's using the camera as a light source. So deselect that and instead select lights. And now if we render this, we can see here's the bright side and here's the darker yellow side. So this already adds a flat aspect to it. It's only got two colors to use for shading in this situation instead of the multitude of colors that an actual 3D object has. But we're still missing the outlines. And to do this, we have to create a shader. So go down here, create, and instead of new material, select shader and sketch material. And what this does is it changes a few settings. First of all, it creates the sketch material object. Then it creates in the render settings a sketch and tune, as they call it. And this has various things. One of them is actually very visible if I turn off my background. If we render this, it has a white background. This is mostly so that you can see the black outline. Some people might not like this. I'm just going to turn it off. So go to background, color, switch it to off. And that's all we have to worry about. And I've got my floor as my background, so I don't even, we won't even see the green, uh, the white, excuse me. So now that I render this, we can see right off the bat, it looks so much more two dimensional. We have the black outline, very thin black outlines. You'll notice we have some black outlines in the object themselves, but we'll get rid of those. So the first thing that we want to do is create our own object custom sketch material. This kind of sounds confusing, but it's not that hard. So select your guard, handle, and bottom, or whatever your object is, 
to create your custom sketch material, actually I'm, go I'm going to use only one for this purpose, right click on it and go to sketch tags and select sketch style. This basically gives it its own um, personal settings as well as a new sketch material. And I'm going to use this new sketch material to add the different colored outline. So let's see, kind of a bluish, purplish kind of color. And now if I render this, we have the perfect blue purplish color, but we also have these lines for all the sides and I really don't want that. So to remove that, go into this little icon and go to lines and deselect creases. Creases basically as a line for everywhere where you have creases. For example, this right here is a crease and so are these sides. And now that I have that removed, we don't see the creases, but this area is still lit kind of strangely and that's mainly due to the light source being right here. If you want to remove that, we can just make this color darker or we can use luminance to create our own style of shading. So there we go, I've removed this. Now I'm going to apply the same thing to the bottom here. And for this, I'm just going to drag my new sketch material into the bottom and remove creases from the bottom as well. And now that I render that, it looks nice and two dimensional. You can even notice that the cloth, if I zoom in a bit, the cloth itself looks very two dimensional. There's the light and there's the dark. Again, if we want to change this, we can add luminance and have more layers of light to darkness. For example, let's do this to the ruby. I actually like how the ruby looks right now, but you might want to have a little more control. So go to basic, add luminance, go to texture, sketches, and cell, and change the colors. So I'm going to make it all red. And actually, I'm going to make this kind of a deeper red. I'm going to give this kind of a darker background red and make this not quite as bright. So it's still very shallow. And now if I render this, you'll see again, it's using my camera as the light source. So remember to deselect that and select lights instead. And now you have your nice shaded ruby. So if I zoom out, we can look at our entire object as a whole and we can see this looks a lot flatter. If we wanna make it look even more flat, let's turn off the area, the shadow on my light source and voila, we have a flat sword from Adventure Time or whatever you want to use for this sketch and tune shading. The one last thing that you might want to do is increase the size of the outline. So to do this, you want to select, I believe it is, yes, select your sketch material and go to thickness. And let's just make this absurdly large. This is going to look terrible. And you can see that the entire object is covered in this blackness. So let's see what four looks like. And that looks a bit thick, so maybe 2.5 might give it a more definite, there we go. That has a more definite blackness, but it's not overpowering. But at the same time, it still looks nice and two-dimensional. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you next time.